Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. Today I am well sharing with you the process I uh, of me drawing 100 hands. I'm I'm really excited for this one because I did put a lot of work into it. First of all, what uh why I decided to do this was because I wanted to share uh just for for everybody's sake that um even if you're really bad at drawing something, you will get better if you just do it. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm terrible at drawing hands, or at least I was before I did this. I was terrible. I have never uh, really been drawing hands. I've never practiced because I've never, that has never really been something that I've uh, wanted to incorporate into my drawings, but I'm, I'm starting to feel like I do want to. And so getting uh, into actually uh, drawing them, I realized that they are very, very complex and uh, it's one of the few uh, or one of the many things that a lot of artists uh, struggle with and the one thing that I've heard so, so many people say that they are struggling with and uh, when people are making New Year's store solutions, it's always, oh, I want to learn how to draw hands this year. So, uh, this is just me showing, uh, well, I too wanted to learn how to draw hands and I, I sat down and did it and now I am um, I'm a lot better at it. I'm not gonna say that I know how to draw hands with confidence because it didn't get me that far but you will see a huge improvement throughout this video. Um, as you can see I uh, here in hand number 10 I'm still struggling a lot the hand well it's hard to get in those proportions and uh, Something I did wrong here in the beginning is that I I didn't really block out the different parts of the hand before I started drawing. And that way I um, I didn't really know how where things were going to be placed and so on. I also struggle a lot with perspective when drawing, uh, like when fingers are pointing right at me. They look really weird, but I, um, yeah, they get better, I think, at least <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but it is hard. It, it is a struggle and there's a reason why people find her hands uh, so hard to draw. And um, uh, well, this did take me a long time to do. I think in total of recorded time it was about 11 hours and that did not include me arranging all the hands in the end because in the end I, I put them in this like circle and they look cool. You'll see. Um, but yeah, in total it took me about 11 hours to, to just draw the actual hands. It takes a lot longer now in the beginning um, when I'm just copying my hand. I'm looking a lot at my own left hand for reference because I'm right-handed. And um, and I, uh, I'm just like drawing what I'm seeing. And I think it's quite good that I do that in the, in the beginning, but towards the end I learn that it's a lot easier if I block out the um, the shapes first and then go in and make the details. Whereas here I'm still just, well, doing the actual like details as I go. I wanted to talk a little bit about a little bit about my English as well. I just wanted to mention that I am not a native English speaker and that's why I I do uh, make mistakes and say wrong things. Um, just so you know. This is like my third time I'm recording this voiceover. Oh, um, I really like this hand, number 29. I think it looks... No, 28, 29. Yeah, I thought uh, that one uh, looked really cool. Uh, just so you know, I'm struggling a lot, but I'm just going to go with this one because I, I'm, I don't really have uh, more time to do it. I do want to do voiceovers, however, because I know that... At least I find a video with voiceover so much more interesting to watch than a video without it. So I'm sticking with it and doing it anyways. Um, so yeah, and I, I'm uploading now uh, bi-weekly, so every other week. I don't know if that's actually called bi-weekly or if that means twice a week. I'm doing it every other week, every other Sunday. I'm thinking of uh, doing it every week, that's the goal. Um, the long-term goal is uh, several times a week, but I will not be able, be able to do that as it looks like uh, right now. 
Um, but when I do have a few more videos lined up, I'm uh, ready to go over to the weekly schedule, but you won't be seeing that for quite a while. Uh, I'm working right now on uh, a video about me making a travel journal because uh, I went to London a few weeks ago and I am uh, I'm drawing a, a, a like illustrated journal about it and uh, uh, it's gonna be real uh, really fun to show you how I did it because uh, well it's my first travel journal and I um, I really enjoy how it uh, how cool. it ended up so I'm starting to get better here you can see quite a big like improvement I uh, I get some proportions better and my line confidence is so much better I am not very um, experienced with the digital drawing so that's why well that's why my hands looked so terrible in the beginning because I did not know my tablet very well and I did not know hands very well and I did not know Photoshop very well so it was all a new thing for me and uh, that's why my first hand was drawn with bold lines because I didn't really know how to use the line variation thing yet um, and I uh, I didn't like understand layers yet so um, but I did get into that quite quickly since I, I have been drawing a little bit in paint tool side before before I got this new computer and now I have Photoshop so um, so yeah I, I did struggle with both the program and uh, hands and my tablets and I'm still not feeling very comfortable with digital drawing I'm not really that much into it I maybe in the future I'll be using it for sketching because I like how how much like you, the infinite like redrawing um, ability or like opportunity that you have. You can erase, you can layer, you can move, you can rescale however much you want and then like printing out, printing it out and tracing it to a good paper and then maybe painting it, uh, on top of that. I think that will be a very nice use of this uh, program, but I'm, I'm not really into the actual digital drawing yet. I like uh, watching it. I, I, I mean, I like other people's work, but I don't really feel confident about it right now. And I'm not sure I want to spend the time it takes to learn it. So yeah, uh, I don't know. In the future, maybe. Um, I hope you're enjoying watching this and it doesn't bore you out. I, uh, I know it's quite a well, quite a repetitive thing to watch because it was a very repetitive thing to do. Um, but like towards the end, I really enjoyed it. You can really like, I could feel the, like, ugh, I don't know. I got into the groove and then I just felt like I wanted to drew, draw more and more. And, um, something I, I noticed along the way too, was that if I didn't, if I hadn't set the number 100 for me, I would not have completed this. So I think the having, well, having the thing that I wanted to draw 100, having decided that uh, beforehand really helped me to actually finish it. Otherwise, I might have settled at 50 or 40 and uh, not continued. And I wouldn't have gotten uh, as much improvement as I did. Um, you can see how I uh, I start blocking out the hands and they are a lot quicker now. I draw, uh, the first hands took forever to draw and I'm also getting quite sloppy. I don't really want to uh, sit and reiterate the same hand 10 times before I settle and move on to the next one. Instead, I just finish it and wait until I am, uh, um, till I'm happy with it. So, um, so yeah, that's something that really developed throughout this. I just wanted to get it done. Okay, so we're coming close to the end here. I, uh, the first hands I drew take, took forever and I could do like five or something in one sitting. But I did the last 20 hands in one sitting. So I did get a lot quicker towards the end. And as you can see, I'm planning out a lot rougher. The hands look a lot more cartoony, but also a bit cleaner and more like well done proportionally. So I'm really happy with how the last few hands looked. And uh, you can see that I'm getting 
uh, a lot more confident, a lot more blocky. And the hands, they're not perfect, they're not great, but they look like hands and they look like hands that I uh, wanted to draw. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy with my, my progress, how I learned how to do it. I do encourage anyone who feels like they're not good at drawing hands to just do this, sit down and draw 100 hands and give yourself like a week to do it or something. I think that's reasonable. And you will see a huge progress um, and it's worth it. And if you, I, I think this works for any object. Like if you want to learn how to draw cars, draw cars. That's the only way to get better. And uh, as you can see, it works for me. So um, yeah, hope you had a nice time watching this video. I'm sorry for my rumbling and I don't even know if that's a word for my rambling. Yeah, that's maybe more correct. Sorry for me just going on talking and making no sense. I hope you have a nice two week weeks until I will see you next time. I uh, Okay, and here are the 100 hands. I, uh, I hope you had a lovely time watching this video and I will uh, see you in two weeks. Um, comment, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and I will see you in two weeks. Have a lovely two weeks. Well, have a lovely day. Bye.